It's Wednesday, the 19th of May. This is the news in 60 seconds. In today's newspapers, recent hike in COVID-19 cases, temporary. The medical director of Hamad General Hospital, Dr. Yusuf Al-Mazlamani, has said that the recent rise in COVID-19 cases was due to the Eid al-Fitr celebrations. Speaking during an Al Rayyan TV program yesterday, Dr. Al Maslamani said the increase in cases would hopefully be temporary, and if that is the case, then the lifting of restrictions will commence on May 28th, which is in 11 days' time. Beware of fraudsters, says Qatar Post. Qatar Post has cautioned its customers to be aware of fraudulent emails, SMSs, or telephone calls asking for payment or personal banking information. They say that due to the prevailing COVID-19 pandemic situation, citizens and residents have been availing various services provided by different entities in the country through Qatar Post. For instance, there are a large number of orders for medicines from the Primary Healthcare Corporation, among other institutions, and these are being delivered by Qatar Post. As the Primary Healthcare Corporation collects only the amount for medicines online, the postal charges are paid through credit or debit card when the medicines are delivered at the given address. Scammers are making use of this and finding it an opportunity to trick customers by sending messages and asking them to pay for the delivery charges online before the actual delivery of medicines. You can contact Qatar Post's help desk by dialing 104 to report any suspicious activity. For all the information you need on Qatar, get Mahaba's amazing e-guides. They're completely free of charge and available on their website, www.mahaba.qa forward slash e-guides. Qatar's weather today. Doha will see temperatures between 28 and 44 degrees. Elsewhere in the country, it will be between 25 and 42 degrees. Now, today's COVID update. In the last 24-hour period, there have been 370 new cases of COVID-19 and 818 recoveries. Unfortunately, there were also four COVID-related deaths. Which means for the 25th day running, there has been a reduction in active cases, today dropping by 452, giving us a new current total of 4,705 active cases. That's all for today. Please take care, and I'll see you tomorrow. 